Hey Derek here and in this lesson I want to just give you a quick overview how I use Yoast SEO for WordPress to do on-page optimization. Now as I've said I've used lots of other different uh, plugins and a lot of premium ones like EasyWP SEO or SEO Presser and uh, Scribe and those are all good plugins anywhere ranging from $37 to $97. But the reality is is once I found that Yoast did page analysis it's really on par or close to its paid competitors. And, uh, you know, as far as keyword research goes, I'm going to use a tool like Market Samurai to do my keyword research, not a plugin. So, Yoast handles on page optimization wonderfully. So, once you have the Yoast plugin installed, every page and post that you create, when you scroll down on the WordPress dashboard here, you're going to see a box called WordPress SEO by Yoast. And this is where you do all of your on-page optimization and where it's gonna coach you to make sure you're well optimized, okay? So the very first thing it does is it asks you for a focus keyword. So what is the main keyword we want to optimize this article for? So we'd go do our keyword research, all right? And uh, figure out what the heck it is we want to optimize this for what's the keyword that's got the you know the highest demand and lowest competition and like i said i'm going to use market samurai to do something like that now for this example i'm going to just use the keyword retargeting now that said this would be far too general but uh, we're just doing this for an example's sake and as you can see it also shows us other keywords that are being searched which is really cool as well so there we go we've added our focus keyword and uh, then the next thing we want to do is we want to write our seo title okay so uh we're going to call this retargeting and why you need to use it on your site. Okay, so that's not great, but nonetheless, um, <laughs> you get the point. And as you can see, it's changing my snippet up here, so it's uh, it's auto-updating auto that. And uh, you can also click Generate SEO Title. So if I click that, what it's going to do is it's going to... Um, it's going to generate a title based on uh, based on my keyword and and maybe something else. So uh, what we have here, retargeting, how will it increase your sales, dot, 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 Derek Gale. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so it came up with a good title just by clicking it. I appreciate that. And uh, uh, one of the other things I like while I'm writing my title is it automatically tells me how many characters I'm at and how many I have left because you do not want your title tag to exceed 70 characters. Then I need to write my meta description, okay? Uh, so let's come up with a meta description. Okay, so there we go. I've written my meta description and I've included my keyword there. And once again, we want to limit our meta description to 156 characters. And I hit 156 characters smack on with that one. Okay, so once I've uh, put in my focus keyword, and I've written my SEO title and meta description, I actually wanna go up here and I wanna update my page, okay? And the reason I wanna update it is that way SEO can actually do the proper page analysis, okay? So what I've done now is I've told it my focus keyword. And uh, on the general, what it tells me here is yes, I've got it in my article heading, I've got it in my page title, I've got the keyword in my URL, in my content, and in my meta description. So I've passed all of those tests there. If I happen to miss it in one of these, it's going to tell me right away. Now, that's pretty basic optimization, okay? Uh, but, you know, it's a good start. Now, if we want to get into more detailed optimization, though, that's when we click up here to our page analysis tab. Now, the page analysis tab is really cool because this is where it gets a lot more detailed uh, coaching, if you will, for what you need to do on your page. So once you've entered your focus keyword, it's gonna give you kind of suggestions, if you will. So uh, basically what it does is it gives you uh, green, yellows, oranges and reds and basically red means oh my goodness you need to fix this it's very important green means you've done it good excellent pat yourself on the back you don't need to worry about it and uh, yellow means uh, we'd probably rec uh, recommend it uh, but it, it's not 
a make or break deal. Same with orange, okay? So uh, for example, you'll see here my flesh reading ease, okay? So how easy is this to read? Well, it's 67.9, which is kind of high, but the reality is, is the topic I'm writing about here is gonna always be a little bit more complicated. You can only say it in such basic language. So uh, I'm gonna be happy with yellow on that one. And it says the slug for this page is a bit long, considering shortening it. Oh, okay, well, I'm going to go up and let's do that and fix the slug. Okay, let's click OK. And then we're going to click on Update. And if this was a draft, I could just click Save Draft. It would do the same thing. Scroll back down, and if we click on page analysis, there we go. Now we're green on our slug length, which is excellent. Now, the next thing we see here is the keyword doesn't appear in the first paragraph of copy. Make sure the topic is clear immediately. So once again, I can go and add that keyword to the first paragraph of my copy. And then I would have a page that is pretty much almost entirely perfectly optimized, which is awesome, okay? So this is, you know, could you do this manually? Absolutely. You could have a little checklist, uh, but the bottom line is, is things like keyword density and you know having to go through and manually find all this stuff well it's going to take time so if i can use a plugin like this that's literally once i'm done i look at it and i can see all the things that i need to fix real quick and where i need to put my keyword well that's going to save me a ton of time and like i said this is really the same thing that all of those paid plugins do, but Yoast does it for free, which is really, really cool. So that's the page analysis feature, and you should be going through that on every page and post that you create on your site. And then let's go take a little look at this advanced tab. Now the advanced tab is really powerful because in Yoast, we can configure our overall site settings of what we want for no follows and do follows and uh, no index, et cetera. But now we can actually also do it on a per page per post basis. So for example, the meta robots index, we can set it to index or to no index. And uh, you know, if it's, uh, I'll just leave it at default, which is index. We can also set it to follow or no follow. And uh, then we've got some other stuff down here. So snippets, archives, stuff like that. Uh, most of which I leave alone, including sitemap. I leave that to auto detect. Sitemap priority, leave that to automatic prioritization. Now the canonical URL function is really cool, okay? So uh, if this is its own original page, I would leave this blank, okay? Now that said, if this was uh, an article that I'd republished or an article from another page or an article from another site, I would actually want to use the canonical URL that this should point to. So the original source of that specific article and then that way i'm not going to ever good get a duplicate content penalty all right so if you're ever republishing or reposting something that is already published somewhere else on your site or on another site you simply specify the url of where it was published and that's going to eliminate any potential duplicate content penalties. And finally, if you ever should decide that you don't want this page anymore, you can simply set up a 301 redirect using this, which is going to push any link juice that this page has to any other page that you want it to, rather than creating just a you know a boring old 404 error, which is not good. Okay, so lots of good stuff in here for your um, fine tuning of how you want that to appear in the index, whether you want it no index, no follow, whether it's republished, you need a canonical URL, lots of good stuff in here. And then finally, something that's kind of cool, especially with the growth of social is over here on their social tab. So on this tab, and this is not really on page stuff, but it's pretty cool, is you can write a description for both Google Plus and Facebook. And so if somebody likes this and they want to share it on their Facebook page or wall or on their Google Plus page, you can have a custom description for those social networks. So if we wrote a meta description that is limited to 156 characters and was really written with a you know sort of SEO in mind and also to get people to click on it from the SERP, 
Well, that may not be ideal for what we want to be post if people share it. So in here, we can write the description that we want when people share it on Facebook. So we could write something specific to Facebook. Say, hey, Facebook users, you got to check this out. It's a, you know, a great article on blah, blah, blah. And same with Google+. Plus. So we can write more specific stuff. We don't have quite the same limitations as we did uh, with our meta description. So there are some great on-page features here. Once again, we've got our general stuff where we're just the real high level stuff, but then we get into more granular detail with page analysis, and then we can get into really fine tuning what we want ranked, where we want it ranked, etc., etc., with advanced and some cool social stuff in there as well. So, once again, Yoast is awesome, works really well for on page optimization, and uh, ultimately, you don't need any of those more advanced paid plugins because, well, frankly, I think Yoast does a great job. And if you got a keyword research tool that you use separately, you're set to go.